In this week's Cardiology Countdown, we have three studies on atrial fibrillation. The first study at the number three slot uh, is a study of race and the incidence of developing atrial fibrillation post-cabbage. In this study of over 25,000 patients, they found that 35% of white patients developed atrial fibrillation versus just 22% of blacks and 29% of other non-Caucasians. Um, when they adjusted in propensity matching, the hazard ratio for white patients to develop atrial fibrillation was 1.7. There were older patients, in, in white and several other risk factors, um, greater left atrial size, but lower incidence of hypertension. So I think an interesting aspect that deserves further study of whether race might impact the incidence of atrial fibrillation. At this week's number two spot is a study from the RACE2 study, and this looked at lenient versus strict heart rate control amongst patients with atrial fibrillation. This was a randomized trial, about 500 patients. And from the ECHO substudy, a report in Jack um, looked at ECHO findings before and after um, the uh, treatment period. And interestingly, found no adverse left atrial or ventricular remodeling with either a heart rate control strategy. They looked either in the randomized groups or achieved low heart rate versus higher heart rates and found no, no adverse impact of the lenient heart rate control on left atrial remodeling. And so further support, I think, um, for the more lenient approach and um, in managing atrial fibrillation. And this week's number one pick is an interesting study that looks at the all-important issue of antithrombotic treatment uh, in atrial fibrillation, in particular in patients who undergo um, RF ablation. So this was a series of patients, um, several hundred, who um, underwent uh, ablation received warfarin for a three-month period, and then uh, were transitioned, 80% of them, down to antiplatelet therapy. And only those with prior stroke uh, or early recurrence of AFib were continued on warfarin. And the outcomes in this series of patients were quite favorable with very low risk. In fact, none uh, of the patients had um, an embolic stroke. They point out this is consistent with other series of patients and uh, likely a randomized trial be need to, needed to further define this, but uh, monitoring for early recurrence as a strategy and then dialing back to antiplatelet therapy if sinus rhythm is maintained looks like a reasonable strategy. So for this week's Cardiology Countdown, I'm Chris Cannon.